Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we are heading over to Burger King to try their Impossible Whopper for the very first time. I've never tried an Impossible Whopper before and I'm just so curious to see what it tastes like. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I don't know why, but I've had this mini obsession with Burger King here lately. I have not gotten it off camera at all because I've been trying to be good, but I just need an excuse to go to Burger King and filming a video is the, literally the best excuse. So we are heading over there. I'm gonna get a couple other things as well. So we'll do like a mini mukbang, but I need to show you guys my cup. Ah, look how freaking cute. Oh my gosh, you guys, I am so obsessed. I literally have my cup decked out in Spider-Man stickers. How freaking adorable is it? I know I have a lot of Spider-Man fans and Marvel fans, so I'm going to link these stickers in my description box. They are from Amazon and they were literally like $10. The pack came with probably like 40 to 50, I think it was 40 stickers. Got a bunch of more stickers, but I put the cute like little chibi spider-man's on it but anyways i will see you guys over at burger king so we've made it to burger king they are bumping today so they got quite a line but i really need your guys's help i don't know if y'all will be able to help me with this but for my marvel fans out there i have been on the hunt for a spider-man squishmallow and i cannot find one anywhere so if you guys know where i can get a spider-man or any marvel squishmallow in general let me know also can we just talk about the fact that fast food needs to collaborate with Marvel. Burger King, if you are watching this, I know you probably aren't, but if you are or any other fast food restaurant, if you are watching this, please do a collab with Marvel, whether it's Spider-Man, Iron Man. I know Iron Man is kind of like old age Marvel. They're kind of phasing Iron Man out. He was the start of the franchise and now they're kind of bringing in new characters. Wanda, oh my gosh, WandaVision on Disney Plus. You guys need to watch it. It is so freaking good. Absolutely loved it. It was so sad. I literally cried at the end, but yeah, y'all need to watch WandaVision. I don't know, just they need to collab with some new age Marvel characters. I saw Spider-Man in the movie theaters twice and it has just really brought up my love for Marvel again because we kind of went a period of time with no new Marvel movies. They're making a new Doctor Strange and a new Guardians of the Galaxy. So I just think fast food needs to collab with Marvel. I feel like that would be perfect. A lot of us adults love Marvel, so I think it would be good marketing technique. But anyways, I don't want this video to just be me rambling on about Marvel. So I guess I'll see you guys once we get to the intercom to order. Okay, we are up to order now. Hi there, could I get the Impossible Whopper, just the sandwich? Uh, is there anything else for you like cheese on it? Yes, please. Alright, then put your order. Could I also get the Rodeo Burger? Okay. And then, could I get an order of the chicken fries? Okay, a Rodeo Burger, and then what kind of sauce the chicken fries? I'll just take, do you have like a buffalo sauce? Uh, yes ma'am. Okay, I'll do that. Okay, what is complete your order? Could I get an order of the jalapeno cheddar bites, the four piece, and that'll be it. Okay, first one up, please. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so, got our order placed. I'm so excited to try this Impossible Whopper, you guys. I had tried the veggie burger over at Freddy's in my last video, and oh, it was not good. I, I mean, it's, it's not that it was bad. It just didn't have a lot of flavor, and I think it's because the patty that they used just didn't have a lot of flavor in it and i've had veggie burgers before that had a lot of flavor so i'm really hoping the impossible whopper is better i did hear from you guys kind of mixed reviews some of you guys said that you liked the impossible whopper and then others have said that you didn't like it also i'm going to be doing a mukbang at culver's i was going to do freddy's first but i think i'm going to actually do culver's first so i'm going to try and do a culver's mukbang very soon and then i'll probably do freddy's after that i'm also planning on doing a jamaican food mukbang mukbang as well as another Indian food mukbang because I know y'all love me eating Indian food so I will do Indian food again soon and I just love Indian food I crave Indian food all the time now here you go mm -hmm. I'm good how are you good thank you oh yes please sorry thank you ma'am you too 918 not bad we got a lot of food too oh two for six lunch mix and match heck yeah hey how's it going Thank you. You too. All right, y'all. We secured the bag. Hey, 
Okay, let me get parking, set everything up, get my thumbnail, and we will dive in to the sandwich, and I'm gonna let y'all know if it's good or not in my opinion. <laughs> all right, you guys, so we are all set up and ready to try this Impossible Whopper. This thing is massive. It's literally like the size of my head. Look in there. I don't know if it's gonna focus, and my hands are really greasy, so I don't feel like, um, anyways, okay, whatever. All right, let's take a bite of this bad boy. Oh, I hope it's good, okay. okay what this is so good i would be honest with y'all if it was bad i will let y'all know it's bad oh my gosh it's so good y'all burger king has got it going on This is so good. I cannot believe this is made out of freaking plants. This is literally a meatless plant-based burger. Oh my gosh, this is so much better than the one at Freddy's. I'm sorry, but... You guys... <laughs> I am so impressed right now. My taste buds are straight up in heaven. All right, we're gonna dip the chicken fry to the buffalo. Well, yeah. Uh. I don't know why I've been loving Burger King so much lately. Their food is just so dang good. I don't understand it. I know you guys love Burger King too, so y'all know what I'm talking about. But here lately, I've just been craving Burger King. Do y'all remember when Burger King had the tacos? Those tacos were so good. I think at the time, a lot of people were hating on them or like people I knew in real life were like, Those tacos are trash, but I love them. Although they were so dang good. I want them to bring it back. I also want Taco Bell. Taco Bell. I want Burger King to get a hot dog. I know they do burgers. Like, obviously they specialize in burgers. But I would love to see Burger King get a hot dog. Ugh. Okay. I'm obsessed with the sandwich. <laughs> if you guys have not tried the Impossible Whopper yet, what are you doing? You need to go try it. Okay, we're gonna give this rodeo burger a bite. I think it has onion rings on it and like barbecue sauce. It looks really good. I'm in heaven. I am in heaven. Mm. I really hope you guys don't mind me doing all these Burger King videos. I feel like I was on a Taco Bell kick and I was doing a lot of Taco Bell videos. And now I'm doing a bunch of uh, Burger King. I am going to do a Taco Bell muffin too, but... I really want them to come out with like a new cool item. I think they recently came out with like a cheese chalupa. I never tried it because I just had other things on my mind at the time, so wasn't able to go. Also, the jalapeno cheddar bites, so good. But yeah, you guys, I have so many ideas for 2022. 
so many food challenges that I want to do. I really want to do some videos with my family members because y'all always ask me about my family. Y'all are like, Daisy, why do you never show your family? Well, for one, I don't live with them, so... When I go and see my family, I don't ever take the camera with me. And they live in the middle of nowhere and they always have lived in the middle of nowhere. So there's not a whole lot of like food places out there. I really want them to come to my city so we can do like a food challenge together. Maybe like a my family decides my order or something. I don't know. But. Oh, also. <laughs> A lot of you guys want to see me do my puppy decides what I eat. I am going to do that. I got a few comments of people saying like I shouldn't bring Mellow through the drive-thru. Just to touch on that really quickly, I just want you guys to know I live in a very dog-friendly city. It is so common for people to bring their dog through the drive-thru where I live. A lot of the drive throughs here actually give treats out to dogs, and a lot of the stores where I live actually allow dogs inside of them. I don't know like where you guys live. I live in the south, and here in the south, there are a lot of cities like that that are just very, very dog-friendly, and they allow dogs like in their stores and stuff so it's just so common where i live and i totally understand where people are coming from like i get it but sometimes you just have to think like it also depends on location and like where you live charleston south carolina they're really big on dogs like if you don't like dogs you don't want to live in Charleston, South Carolina because you can bring dogs like into the bars there. There's actually a doggy bar here in my town where you can bring your dog to socialize with other dogs and you can drink. They have like beverages that you can buy. I want to take Mello so bad, but I think he has to get neutered first. Um, Mello is not neutered yet. He is just right at five months so he can't get neutered yet and I think he has to be neutered for me to take him there so yeah but I'm a big dog lover and I feel like for some people it grosses them out to see a dog around their food and stuff but for me I just don't really <laughs> I don't really have a problem with it. I honestly need to be better about germs than I am, and that might be why I got sick. I had a sinus infection. It wasn't anything serious, but, um... Yeah. I always try to put hand sanitizer on before I do these videos. Like, whenever I'm setting up, I always use hand sanitizer. I try to be, like, as clean as I can, but... Sometimes you just forget and you're not like conscientious about it, but I'm trying to be better, so <laughs> yeah. But I'm just so excited for the new year to see where it takes me. Um, I really want a new job, <laughs> so I've talked about my job before and like what I do. Spider-Man is so cute. Oh my God, I love him. But I'm a recruiter for a company, so I do all of our hiring for the company. A lot of people, I say this in so many videos, a lot of people think I don't work, and I just do YouTube. I literally have a full-time job, you guys. Like, I work in an office full-time. So, I really want a new job, though. I want to get back into staffing, because right now, I technically am in staffing, because I do all of our hiring, but I want to do staffing for multiple companies. So, yeah. <sighs> Thinking about getting a new job. Um, leaving the company that I'm with. Hopefully, that is in my cards for the new year. I did interview twice for a company, but that position doesn't start until February. And he said he would contact me sometime in January, so I'm still waiting on that. You guys, this Impossible Whopper was so good. I'm telling you guys, y'all need to try it. If you did try it and you didn't like it, I don't know, go back and try it again. 
Mm. Get it with cheese because the cheese is extra. I think I paid 60 cents for the cheese. Oh, so good. Okay, I'm getting kind of full. I need one more chicken fry. And then... We might wrap up this video. Is it really good too? Mm. I think I might do eating Freddy's for 24 hours instead of doing like a mukbang there. I think I'm gonna do the mukbang at Culver's and then Freddy's for 24 hours. I hope y'all don't mind like me telling you what I'm gonna be doing. <laughs> Is that annoying? I don't know. All right, you guys, I'm gonna do shout outs and then wrap up this video because it's probably really long at this point. And honestly, I could sit here and eat this food and talk to you guys forever, but I know y'all probably don't wanna see all that. Today's shout outs goes out to Allison Wright. She said, love you Daisy, your videos make my day. Honestly, my favorite to watch. <laughs> Thank you so much. I would love a shout out in your next video. Thank you. Shout out to you. And then second shout out goes out to Janisha and they said love the video and you look so beautiful throughout the whole video. Thank you. You guys are so sweet. Can I please get a shout out in your next video? So shout out to both of you. I love you all so much. Thank you for being here and a big happy new year to you all. I am wishing you all the best in 2022. I can't wait to see where my channel takes us and to see this community grow. But make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. And if you are not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button if you enjoy the videos. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys. Oh, 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 oh,